Hi, my name is Petrus Swissler. Along with my advisor, Dr. Michael Rubenstein, we created FireAnt, a modular robot with full-body continuous docks. FireAnt is able to climb about a cluster of dummy copies of itself using only two motors and three sensors. FireAnt achieves the attach-anywhere capability that ants and cells employ when building bridges or forming organisms. We developed the continuous dock an attachment mechanism able to attach anywhere onto another robot at any orientation, eliminating the need for alignment mechanisms and complex sensors, thus lowering mechanical, sensing, and algorithmic complexity. The docks consist of a highly conductive copper wire embedded into a conductive plastic. This is then mounted onto a structural rim, and two such rims are assembled into a wheel. When two such docks come into contact, one energized to 24 volts and the other to ground, Current flows primarily along the copper wire until it reaches the point of contact. Here, it flows through the plastic, heating and melting the docks, and allowing them to form a strong and rigid bond. We tested the strength and reliability of these docks using a custom test rig to attach and detach the docks, verifying that each connection was able to support a 5 kilogram tensile load we saw zero failures across two 100 trial validation tests. We then pulled the docks until breakage and found an average break load of 23.9 kilograms. After fully developing the docks, we then built FireAnt using an Arduino Uno as the base platform for the electronics and using two motors to rotate the continuous docks. FireAnt locomotes using a simple finite state machine in which it first melts and disconnects its rear dock then flips forward using an accelerometer to measure and maintain a slow flip speed. When the still energized, moving dock comes into contact with another robot, current automatically begins to flow. This is detected using a current sensor, and FireAnt monitors this current flow to ensure that it forms a good connection. Finally, the new connection is allowed to cool and the step is complete. By executing these steps one after another, FireAnt is able to navigate fully about a cluster of dummy fire ants. Recognizing the strength, reliability, and ease of use of the continuous docks, we hope that other research groups can make use of the work outlined in this paper to design their own robots. The continuous docks can supplement or replace many existing attachment mechanisms and allow robot complexity to be greatly minimized.